Good morning. Thank you for joining us and watching our video. It's our, day, it's our weekly Tuesday video. We had great services on Sunday. I'm really enjoying meeting outside <clears throat> under the tent. Um, by the way, if you miss for any reason, um, uh, if you for some reason didn't get the live stream or, or you just want to see the message again, they're all online. And so I encourage you to watch each and every one of our messages. <clears throat> of course, I do encourage you also to read our blog. We post new content Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then, of course, our videos. You're watching this one, and we also, one of our pastoral staff, will have one on Thursday. And then I do encourage you to continue to follow us on our social media. Well, believe it or not, it won't be long, and we will be done <clears throat> with summer. Uh, vacations will be over. I appreciate and the opportunity to go on vacation, and our, that our, our staff and our church can go on vacation. But I always like when it's over. And we're all back together again. School will be starting. Uh, we're just right around the corner from that. You know, one thing during these last four, four and a half months uh, is that our schedules have been completely different. Do you know everybody does better when they're on a schedule? Uh, I jokingly tell the church over and over, I really don't know what's going on or what what month or week it is because uh, my whole life has been built around our church schedule and I know what time of the year it is because of what's going on in the church and it's been a little bit different with everything being a little bit different. Uh, typically though you would see that after the summer churches attendance starts to spike when school starts. Uh, people are getting back in the habit of uh, getting back to a regular schedule. Um, you know it's been crazy times everybody's schedule has been changed. But we need to be very careful, spiritually speaking, of course, that we keep a schedule. Uh, one of the things I did right away when this whole corona thing happened and I knew that uh, our time frame and the things we were doing was completely different, I took my work schedule that I have and I completely redid it. I didn't want to waste time. I wanted to make sure I was staying productive and adding the things that needed to be done because of our current situation. But uh, schedule is very important. And there's just a couple things I think that you should make sure that you keep in your schedule. The first thing, of course, and the most important is our time with God. I've mentioned often, but sometimes we feel we don't have time to do the things we should. And it seems like when we have the time, we actually do less because it's easier to fritter it away and not stay on schedule. Let's make sure we stay on schedule with our time with God. <clears throat> make sure you are, are spending time daily in his word and daily in prayer. Also, and this is very, very, very important, church services should be in your schedule. Um, we are meeting together. We are outside. There is room for you to be here. And I understand those that are, are, are ill, those that are at risk should not be there. But that's a minority a lot of us should be in church online and we're doing online services still it's only for those who absolutely cannot come uh, I, and I want us to make sure that we understand that online church services are not an option you know will I go today or I'll just watch it at home if we choose to watch it at home we're not really going to church now again if we're sick it's great to have that available but if we're just staying home because we just don't want to come, that's a problem. We go shopping. Uh, I don't go shopping much, but I was out with the family yesterday and we went. There's a lot of people out there shopping and they weren't really concerned. They had their mask on, but they really weren't concerned about how close they were to each other. We need to be very careful that we don't let our spirituality get sloppy just because of what's going on right now in our society. Uh, just getting in the habit of doing online will cause us to start missing services. Uh, yesterday in church, I mentioned it, and I said we need to be very careful that we don't get the corona complacency. It seems like when this all went down, everybody was really excited, and we're with you, and all. And, and I know the nature of the beast. As things go on, we get used to things. And I just don't want our spiritual life to suffer because of what's going on in our society. I would hate to think just because of the dictates of our governor that we allow that to knock our spirituality down a few steps. 
Let's make sure we're doing the right thing. Let's make sure that we're staying close to God. We say the Lord is the most important individual, the most important person in our life, and yet if we're not careful, we will let something like this virus cause us to actually spend less time with him and not more. The important thing is this, if we are going to stay spiritual, it's going to take focus and purpose on our part. Let's not let our wacky schedule and all the nonsense that's going on and the constant changes keep us from being the Christians that God wants us to be, to keep us from being obedient to what God tells us to do just because it seems like there's something a little more convenient available. Well, I hope that helped you today. We're looking forward to services. I hope that you're doing well. If there's anything we can do for you, just contact us. If you have a prayer request, we're here for you. God bless you and have a great day.